I have been in the program since my very first semester. I remember <laughs> it very vividly. I had had experience in sports my entire life and did a little bit of writing in high school for um, a little magazine the Booster Club put up. And I remember literally walking into the MIC and not knowing anyone and not really literally like knowing where I was at all. How do I get involved in sports? Where is sports? I want to be in the sports class. And from there, I joined Roy's class two weeks late and I have been in the program my entire career at AU. It's been wild. I spent my first two and a half years in the classroom every single day with all of you. Towards the end of my junior year and then all of senior year, I've been more so behind the scenes in the sports program. Over the years, I have learned a lot. I came in with writing experience, not with radio experience, and definitely not with TV experience. And I learned how to call play-by-play -play in color on the radio. I learned how to run a radio station. I learned that I love hockey. I had no idea that I was a hockey fan until I was there my freshman year and was doing play-by-play -play in color. And holy Hannah, hockey is exhilarating. Being on air with someone you have chemistry with and a good friend, like, Every time I'd go on air with Ryan and Paige, every time I'd go on air with one of those two, it was just a blast because I knew them so well. They were my, they were good friends. So definitely I learned a lot about radio and a lot about TV. And then I also, I've learned how to be a leader, which is really cheesy, but the sports program, I've been a manager since my second semester of freshman year. I, that was my first manager's position as assistant sports director for KJAC. So I've always been a manager and I've, learned over the years how to be a better manager, but also just like how to be a resource and how to be more compassionate, which is really corny, but it's true. So the program has it has taught me more than I ever thought was possible to learn from a sports program. Being on air, on air television has challenged me the most. I'm a very lively talker. I talk with my hands, I talk with my face. My expressions are wild all of the time. I am terrible at staying still. I think this is the most still I've stayed ever. But for me, it was really hard to, it's just, it's always been hard for me to be on air. I never did sideline reporting. I never did on air live anchoring or reporting because I wasn't comfortable with that. I'm very much a behind the scenes person. And so I was definitely challenged um, when it came to doing some of those on air clips. And I think I've been more challenged with just being okay with where I am in this program and not comparing myself to the others. I would say my biggest, biggest accomplishment isn't even necessarily sports related, but just MIC related. Being editor in chief and station manager at the same time is huge. I always wanted to be an editor in chief and I'm so glad that I was given the tools and the resources to accomplish this. It was a huge accomplishment to just get into a sports program and to be able to go on air and to learn these things and to work alongside so many talented people. So I would definitely say my biggest accomplishment has been the positions that I've held, but also has been being able to be a resource for so many people. Do it all. Seriously, do it all. I never, if you would have asked me when I graduated high school, if I thought I was ever going to be a part of a radio station or would have ever had the opportunity to play by play or color commentary for a radio station, I would have told you no. I listen to the radio in the mornings and in the evenings. I am not a radio person. I have never even thought about it, but here I am and it's it's amazing. Do TV, do radio, do print. I know so many people think that print is the less exciting side of the sports world, but it's really not because when you think about it, print is your foundation for every single program. Um, when it comes to TV, you have to be able to write scripts or you have to be able to understand things and understand communications. Writing is the foundation for all media, so definitely do writing. I know it, there's gonna be days where it's hard and as a writing person who, and a person who's always been a writing person, someone who enjoys writing, I have heard so many times that it's boring. I promise you it's not. You just have to find the sport you're, that you're passionate about. Do high school sports. A lot of people think that high school sports is the bottom and NAU athletics is the top Top, that's not true. High school is the bread and butter of the MIC sports department because they are so open to working with us that you're going to get the most experience from the high schoolers. So just do it. High school sports is also wild. It is so fun. I promise you if I get offered a career in working with high school athletes, I will die a happy lady. So definitely get involved. 
take advantage of all of the high school opportunities and then just take advantage of opportunities like don't don't restrict yourself because of your own beliefs or because of what you think you are are not capable of do it all do it all that's all i had to say do it all trust me the more well-rounded you could be the better off you'll be i joke all the time that i feel like i've been prepared too much to where i can pretty much immerse myself in tv radio or print and have no problem i will i will swim i won't sink in any of those fields the problem is now which one do i want to do do i want to do tv do i want to do radio do i want to do print do i want to do social media like that's what's hard now is kind of sorting through all the skills Rory and the rest of the MIC faculty have given me and the rest of the students that have taught me what they know is now it's like, okay, what do I do? <laughs> this program has the opportunity to be the most amazing experience of your college career or it could be the most frustrating or it could be both at the same time. No matter what, just try it out at least once. I promise you won't regret trying it out, so do it.